Let's take a look at the molecular geometry for pH 3, phosphorus trihydride. So we have a Lewis structure here for pH 3. You can see we have the three hydrogens, and then we have this lone pair here. So if we count up the number of groups or the number of items attached to the phosphorus, we have one, two, three, we count the lone pair, four. That gives us what's called the steric number. And with the steric number of four, we can look it up on this table here. So we can see the steric number is four, and we have one lone pair. With one lone pair and a steric number of four, we have trigonal pyramidal. So the molecular geometry for pH three is trigonal pyramidal. And this is a useful chart to remember. Let's take a look at the pH three molecule and then see how it was formed here. So we'll start with the phosphorus atom here in the center, and let's add three hydrogen atoms. There's one of them, we add another, they spread out. Third one, they're spread out, and actually right now, they're in a plane. When we add that last lone pair that's on top of the phosphorus there, watch how that pushes everything down. So now we have our trigonal pyramidal molecular geometry. See the bond angles, 109.5. This is a general number. With this lone pair up here, I would expect it would push these down more. So this 109.5 would be a little bit less. So that's the molecular geometry for pH 3. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.